What is up, everybody? Welcome to AK Plays. I'm AK. Let's play. Alright, today I'm going to be doing a pistol-only build video challenge. I had a comment, which I'm putting on screen, that asked me to do a pistol-only build. I tried a few different ways. I tried where I was running uh, Sentry's Call behind a shield, but the shield health didn't scare, scale very well. Then I tried running normal Sentry's Call. It didn't work. And then I tried running D3 with a pistol. It didn't hit hard enough. So I came up with this build. It's a three-piece Banshee, three-piece Alpha Bridge, two-piece Predator's Mark Ninja Bike build. And the primary weapons don't matter. We're all about the pistol today. So our pistol is going to be a 93R because it hits pretty hard. And it's got a good fire rate. And uh, you can see its talents are expert and responsive. I think expert's a good talent, so I didn't bother rolling it off. And then there's our attachment. Now, our first is our chest piece, which is rolled firearms, health, enemy armor damage, and kill XP. Those are the bonuses for Banji. Kill XP should be ammo capacity. Enemy armor damage can stay like that or be skill haste or exact damage resilience. Our mask is a predator's mark mask rolled for firearms, crit chance, and burn resistance. And then our two-piece bonus for reload speed. Our knees are rolled for firearms, health, and the miners are pretty trash. They should be shock, burn, and disrupt. And then those are the bonuses for Banshee again. And then our holster is just rolled for crit chance. And these are the alpha bridge bonuses you're getting. We're doing this for the weapon damage. And uh, then on the gloves, we have alpha bridge gloves rolled for firearms, crit damage, pistol damage, and crit chance. And then you can see our bonuses again for alpha bridge. Now on the backpack, we are rolled for firearms with health and bleed resistance, which bleed resistance you can keep or go with disrupt resistance. And then you can see what our mods, we have stamina crit chance and first aid self heals. And then on the holster, we also have first aid self heal. And on the knees, we have stamina crit chance and first aid self heal. And then again on the mask, we have stamina crit chance. And on the chest piece, stamina crit chance and stamina crit chance. Now you can see we're very high firearms, but we're trying to have a little bit of stamina. But our crit chance is at 22%. Uh, our crit damage, there we go, and there's our headshot damage. You can see headshot damage is huge on pistols, uh, so it's all about hitting headshots if you can. And then we get a little bit of all weapon damage, not much skill haste, and you see it's zero. And uh, then we got our skills, which we have booster shot for our plus on damage. And then we have our immunizer because it's kind of required in 1.8.2. And then uh, we have a green uh, to get yourself up, to get your teammates up. Uh, and then we have our talents, which we have adrenaline to keep off status effects. Critical save to get a little more toughness. Combat medic to heal your teammates if you're running with teammates. Um, if you're not, you can switch that out for strike back. Um, and then you can see that, I don't know why we have chain reaction on. It should be precision. Uh, precision to get you a little bit more crit chance. And then, yeah, so these are the talents these are the skills and then this is the build again with extremely high firearms and a little bit of stamina just so you don't get burned down right away this build for a pistol build actually hits pretty hard um, I'll tell you that it actually can rip people if they stand still the hard part is hitting your shots but if you can hit shots it's actually pretty decent this is not a build that can compete with normal builds in the DZ however it's a lot of fun to run now we're gonna start off with a manhunt with my three-man team here now this first fight I saw this guy's commendation score was pretty low and so I said hey guys just sit back and let me see if I can beat him with the pistol just give him a fair fight one-on-one -on -one. Um, and you can see that the pistol hits pretty hard uh, my toughness isn't very great but as long as I keep moving um, I can do all right so the guy kind of starts to run away from me um, I mean obviously he's not uh, exactly a huge PvP person or he doesn't have the gear that he wants yet um, which I understand I mean that's we're in DZ1 so that's very expected but I wanted to give him a fair fight you can see that the pistol actually does some good damage um, and then one of my teammates while they were watching ended up getting snuck up on and so we had a whole nother fight to get into and this one my teammates gonna help me out and we're going to get this guy down pretty quick but uh, once we kill him I'm gonna have a little time jump because there was a big jump in time between uh, that kill and our next kill and so our next kill is uh, over here at the gas station and so this guy comes out of nowhere and we take him on but the pistol you can see I mean if I'm hitting shots especially in the head like right there you saw I got two bursts to the head and it procked his nomad very quickly so it does hit 
Obviously this build is not meant to compete in the DZ. This is a challenge video. So I mean, this is definitely not gonna be your new meta build. But at the same time, this was a heck of a lot of fun to run. Like I really enjoyed myself. Um, this wasn't exactly, I wasn't going to go run up to uh, a striker with a showstopper and ask him for a 1v, but, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun with it. It was a really hard challenge. Uh, I went through three different variations of this build and all of them were failures. And then I came up with this version and the reload speed mixed with the out of cover damage from Banshee mixed with the all weapon damage from Alpha Bridge really, really helped. Like this thing actually hit hard. I had consistent fire rate because I was always having that quick reload speed. So overall, this is actually, for a challenge build and for a pistol build, this was not bad. Like, the fact that I'm able to be on a team that goes manhunt and not drag them down is good in itself with a pistol build. But the fact that I was actually able to contribute is really impressive. I was very happy with this result. Um, I'm not saying you should go make this build and try it out, but at the same time, if you are going to make a pistol build and you want to have some fun with it, this is definitely a good route. So now this is hilarious. If you've watched my recent videos, I played with these DSD1 guys the other day. So I ran over here to wave at them and say hi. And you can see I pulled up my emote menu and they shock me. I'm like, oh crap, they're not friendly. All right, they want to fight. And so we quick jumped into it. Um, you can see that they green for me because I was going to die in a shock nade. And so then we go into a fight with all of the DSD1 guys. And there's also a couple of non-hostile agents that are trying to fight us. And so we were fighting about six people here. Um, obviously, this pistol build, not, I mean, it, not bodying people. I'm not taking everybody down. I mean, huge thanks to Slacks here. He was our one DPSer, and he was bodying a lot of people. But uh, we had Karma running our Reclaimer, and then I was running the pistol build, and Slacks was running a Striker AR. And you can see that he was doing some work. My teammates definitely were helping me out on this one. I was just trying to not weigh the team down which I think I did a pretty good job of. I mean, you guys be the judge. I didn't exactly kill a ton of people, but at the same time, I didn't die too much. I mean, this is the only time I go down in the entire manhunt. And uh, overall, the pistol build did okay. I mean, yeah, it, it definitely wasn't uh, the biggest DPS machine, but at the same time, when I got a square up like you see on that, if people square up and fight, um, which usually they're gonna be fighting my teammates and I can shoot them, if I get a time where I can just tee off on somebody with this build it hits hard enough that it actually is legitimately a solid build but usually it's going to require a lot of movement a lot of strafing and a lot of timing your shots correctly and so it took a little bit of practice to even be able to use the build but once i started playing with it a little bit i actually had a bunch of fun um it wasn't that bad especially for pistol build i was actually very very happy with it um, and overall, I mean, you saw what I just did there. That was that was a solid beam with the uh, 93R, and I hit a, I think that was a 28 on the guy's head for a crit headshot. But we cleared the manhunt, and that in itself is quite amazing. And so I gave that a dab there at the end. <laughs> but uh, now I did a 1v1. I do lose this 1v1, so be ready for that. But at the same time, I wanted to give you a little glimpse into this build. Now this guy is running a hybrid build um, with the house, which, I mean, people run that in the DZ. That is a very normal thing to run. And so I wanted to have it fight one-on-one, -on -one, no buffs from a reclaimer, no DPS are helping me, just to see how this build could perform in a true 1v1 setting. Now, this man was running, I believe it was four-piece Pred, three-piece Banshee hybrid um, uh, that, with a ninja bike. That's He didn't really tell me his build, but from how I was getting bled and it wasn't like a super strong bleed, and then he said, yeah, it's a hybrid. Uh, from that, that's what I'm guessing he was running. Um, firearms probably weren't too crazy, but at the same time, I'm having to strafe and time my shots really, really well. Um, I'm trying to proc as many critical saves as I can and use my heals efficiently. Um, you can see that when I do square off and get a good shot at his head, I rip the health down pretty quick. And I have him black bar a few times where I almost get the win, but it's just, just quite not enough. If I had one more burst in the gun before I had to reload, I think that I would have had him. A couple of times but you know what I'm going off against a hybrid build that use that's using the house and I'm holding my own with a pistol build now that in itself is pretty impressive to me uh, you guys will have to be the judge if it's impressive to you but I think that this build did way better than I expected I thought that I was gonna have to get carried by my teammates I thought that I was going to 
have to do a bunch of editing and say, yeah, it was a failure, but at least I tried. But honestly, I'm deeming this a success. Uh, this was a successful challenge in my mind. I was able to go on a team and get a successful manhunt, and I was able to hold my own in a 1v against a hybrid build using the house. That in itself is crazy to me. And so I thought this was a really fun challenge. I enjoyed it. And thank you to Rodrigo for your comment and uh, asking me to do this. So anybody else, if you have any challenges you want to see me do, throw it in the comments. And if you have any questions or anything about the build, put it in the comments as well. I hope you guys enjoyed.